Hi and welcome to this screencast. Today we are having a look at tips and tricks for the Mac OS X. You can use these tips and tricks all the way from Panther and up. That means Panther, Tiger, Leopard and Snow Leopard. And here I am using the latest Snow Leopard. The first trick is called Snapback. Snapback is a way to get back to a search from a search. Let me show you. I'm just going to search for an actor here, Kiefer Sutherland. I'm going to open this article on IMDb. And here I can read about Kiefer Sutherland. I'm just going to click on through and read about one of the series he's in, 24 hours. Then I can read a little bit about some of the actors, maybe Carlos Bernard. Have a little look at what films he's in. There is one here called Alien Rider Riders, maybe I'm into that. And then we can look through some other actors here, just clicking through, clicking through. And now if I want to get back to my Google search now, that's going to be a lot of clicking on that back button. No, let's not. Up here we have the snap back button. Click it once and you'll get returned to your Google search. That was it. Simple but powerful. Good. Next trick is creating disk images. For this we'll need an application called Disk Utility that you can find in your Utilities folder. From here we'll choose the File menu and New. Here we can create a blank disk image or a disk image from a folder. I'll just create a blank here. First I'll have to name my file. I want to create a file here for all my budgets. I don't want everybody to know about what kind of money I'm into. So I'm going... I want this kind of a secret file. So I'm going to show you how to create a file that only you can access. So I'll just type budget here. That's the file name and I want it saved in my documents. Then I have to give the disk a name. That's the name that will appear here on the desktop. And I'll just type the same. Then I have to pick a size. I'll just click 40 megabytes for this. Then I can choose what format. That really doesn't matter for this demonstration. Then I can choose the encryption. I just want 128 bits. And that will be a read and write disk image. This is fine. So I'll just click create and it'll ask me to create a password. I'm just going to type a simple password here. There. And the password is weak. Then this one is important. Remember password in my keychain? No because that will mean every time you log on to your computer and type in your user account password, this password will be unlocked too and everybody who have your access code or can log into your computer, if it logs in automatically, will have access to these files. No, we don't want that. So just hit OK and it'll create the file. Now we have the budget created. I can just open it and just like a USB drive, I can just create files here. I'll just go create a file. So I'm going to open up my applications folder and go in here to text edit and type some text here. And I'm just going to save this file in my budget and just type private here on the file name and click save. So now I have a file saved. Notice that when I go up here to the spotlight and search for this file, it will find it. But if I drag this disk image to the eject symbol down here and research for private this file will be nowhere to find on my computer the file is safe here in my documents folder so let's say over time this place is getting crowded oops have the type it right there Let's say over time this gets a little crowded and you want a little bit more than just 40 megabytes. How do we do that? We'll need the application disk utility once again because we can enlarge it. Then we'll choose images and resize. Now I'll have to pick the image that I would like to resize, give it my password and just pick the new size. So let's say now I want 100 megabytes. Click Resize, and it's done. So now when I open my budget file, once again, 
I have a lot more place to throw around with. Easy and simple. Good. For the next trick, I'm going to have. To, I don't. This is this is a demonstration use, so I don't really have any video here. So I'll just pause the video for a moment, and I will open up a video folder. Good. Now I have a video folder opened here, and quite conveniently, this is actually a folder of the second season of Twenty Four Hours, and I do have the DVD standing here, uh, the DVD box standing here, right to me. This is just ripped through handbrake. That's a trick we can take another day. So, here I have a lot of files. Note the file name here, M4V. If you can't see it here, just right click and get info. And here, under name and extension, get the file name from here. Uh, and that's the extension. Now, but if I just pop this open, open with, I can pick, okay. It should have said iTunes here, but it does say QuickTime. Anyway, I would like to open this file with VLC, and I'll just click VLC, and click Change All. This will make sure that this video file and others uh, that look like it will open in VLC. So if I open, let's say, the fifth chapter, VLC is going to open up and play me my 24 hours uh, chapter. And if you want to watch the rest, you'll have to buy the DVDs yourself. So that's how we can change the application that we want to use for a different file. This works with every file format. So if you have a file that you want to open as default in another, in another application, just get up this inspector and change the open with section. Pick a program, click change all, continue and every kind of these files will now be opened with QuickTime instead. That's simple it is. So, thank you for watching.